Today I am going to solve question number 7 of exam style questions of chapter number 2. As you can see it on page number 73 that this question, question number 7 has been taken from past paper. Uh, it, it, it has been taken from October November 2017's paper. The variant was paper 12 and question was question number 4. So I, I have opened the answer key of this paper and we'll discuss the answers from the answer key. In question number 7 you, you have been given a situation in which uh, Rory has uh, um, is sending data to a uh, file, file server at the back end because, uh, um, because he needs an internet connection uh, to send his file to a far away place because that place is 100 that server is 100 meters away from uh, uh, Rory's uh, place so it means that uh, uh, in order to access that um, it, it, in order to send or receive files from that server you need to tell about the most appropriate method as you know that in tra serial transmission only one uh, bit in trans is transmitted at a time and a whole packet uh, remains synchronized while in parallel transmission uh, eight or multiples of eight are sent at one time over uh, a wire uh, oh, the, the, so there is a possibility that over long distances these um, bits become skewed out of order so parallel is not a good option uh, to travel over uh, long distances so parallel will not be a good option serial will be a good option for us so uh, we have to tell one option See, uh, we will tell about serial uh, transmission that this is a better way of transmission see this, that the same thing is written in the answer key of question number 4 part A now let's move on to method 2 now you have to uh, tell about the direction if you want a simplex it may simple, uh, as you know that uh, simplex is one way uh, in case of simplex data transmission only one single way is being is used um, in half duplex data transmission both dimensions dimensions are used but not at the same time but uh, full duplex is the only case in which both dimensions are also used and both dimensions are used at the same time so in case of internet full du full duplex is the best option as you can see it uh, from your answer key also duplex is the uh, correct answer now let's move on to question number seven part uh, question part a and it's question number two explain why your answer to a1 is the most suitable data transmission uh, you, as you know that we have just discussed the reasonings uh, let's move on to the answer now let's come to the reasoning of duplex duplex uh, data is in both directions at the same time simplex and half duplex remaining methods won't allow to read and write at the same time so they won't work this is the same thing that we have discussed over here about full duplex now let's move to part b identify and describe two methods of error checking that can be used to make sure that data stored after data transmission is uh, accurate uh, so have a look at your answer key uh, you have to tell any two out of them checksum parity check arq echo check as you know that in checksum a sender uh, has a block of data and the sender converts all the bytes of that data into denry form and then all these denry values are added together uh, to uh, get one final denry total and some sort of formula is applied to it like division by 256 to get one value now the data and this calculated value are sent to the receiver when the receiver gets the data it again uses the same process and if the receiver gets the same value then uh, it means that the data is correct so checksum can also be described as an error checking method now let's move on to parity check in parity check 
in the start of one whole byte one parity bit is added if even parity is decided among the sender and the receiver then the number of ones of the uh, on the number of ones in one byte are calculated 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then if uh, the number of ones is not even one parity bit is added to make it even if the number of ones is odd then a parity bit of zero is added uh, what happens at the receiver end the receiver counts the number of ones if they are even then the receiver considers the data to be correct if they are not even then the receiver considers the data to be incorrect uh, now comes the next uh, topic of arq arq is bound by two things one is time limit the, the sender sends a um, message and waits for a certain period of time if it gets an acknowledgement if the receiver sends an acknowledgement then the uh, sender does not receive uh, the uh, does not send the message again it considers it to be correct if the sender does not get an acknowledgement from the receiver then it considers it to be a time out and resends the packet so this method can also be discussed as one of the methods and the last method is echo check in echo check uh, the, in echo check the sender sends a copy of data to the receiver the receiver again without checking the copy sends the same copy back to the sender if both and the sender compares both the copies if both copies of data are same then it uh, sends a signal to the receiver that okay the data is correct you can work with it if both copies are not the same then it uh, sends a corrected copy correct version of copy to the receiver again so these were the four methods uh, that can be discussed in this question thank you